All right, so at this point, we've technically created a dynamic website, at least, I guess, by my own definition. Um, but it's by no means as cool as it could be. So let's keep going with it. So let's hop back over to Aptana. And one thing I want to show you is uh, something that I call functioning something out. Um, and we're using functions in this series, at least in the beginning, um, maybe throughout. Um, as this is a procedural way of programming rather than the object oriented way and in procedural we tend to use a lot of functions now here in our setup file we have the, uh, the query here that selects the page from the database and this is the first thing that I want to function out so to start doing this let's go over here to Adam CMS our project and right click on it choose a new folder and we're gonna call this functions and this folder is going to contain all the files that have all of our functions in them and this first file we're going to create is going to contain um, many of the functions that uh, are going to pull data from the uh, database so let's right click over here on the functions folder choose new and file and we're just going to call this data dot php and go ahead and give yourself some PHP tags and let's go over to set up here and we're gonna go ahead and cut this whole chunk out here from uh, line 20 to 23 and we're gonna keep that in the clipboard for a second we're gonna need to tell PHP that we're creating a function here so that's done with the keyword function and then we're gonna call it something and uh, for the functions in here I'm generally gonna give them a uh, prefix of data underscore so we're gonna call this one data underscore page and when creating functions you can really you can give them whatever name you want as long as they uh, the names not already being used in a pre-made PHP function um, when creating a function, you also need to give yourself the uh, parentheses here, and the parentheses are going to hold. Now, these parentheses are going to hold the data or parameters that uh, you're going to need in order to run this function. So we'll get back to that in a second. Next, we need our curly brackets, and give yourself a little space. And now, let's go ahead and Control V, paste that uh, little bit of code that we cut out earlier. We'll go ahead and tab that out. So now this function is going to run this query and do everything that it was doing before, except we need to make a couple changes here. We actually need to send information back. When we're, when we're running the function, we need to send information back. So we're going to use the return command. And what we're going to return is, right now it's called page, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change this to be called data. So this array up here, I'm just going to call this data, and I'm going to keep this... Uh, naming convention pretty consistent throughout this this functions page so we're, we're saving the information from the pages table into this data array and then we're gonna return it and this should make sense here in a second now in order to run this function we're missing some things here uh, if you look all the variables we're using um, some of them are defined um, Q, R, and data, which is, you know, an array, but same thing. Um, but a couple of them aren't. DBC and page ID. So we actually need to be able to send these to this function. So that's what needs to come up here in our parentheses. So DBC, and then to add another one, you do comma and page ID. And uh, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and shorten this to ID. And again, that's something I'll keep consistent in this file. So we'll save this. Now, we don't have access to this function yet. So we need to include this function file inside of setup.php. So hop back over to setup.php. And underneath our database connection, Give yourself a little space. And 
this area here is where we're going to put all of our functions or our function files that is so include and then functions slash and then our file name data dot php go ahead and close that off with a semicolon so now we have access to not only this function but any other function we put into this folder. And these functions perform exactly like the predefined functions in PHP like this MySQL I connect and, and so forth. So down here in the page setup instead of having that query sitting here we can now do this. We can do page equals data underscore page. So we're going to run that function we just created and we need to send it two parameters. Aptana is showing us that here which is something that's really cool about Aptana is it it knows that we've now created that function and uh, it knows what parameters we're going to be looking for. Now the variable names do not need to match up with the names we gave it in the function. They just need to be the, the right values need to go in the right slot here. So let's think of this as as we've got two slots we have a slot where we need to get the database connection and a slot where we need to send the ID. So as long as those values are correct, it doesn't matter what the, the variable name is as long as it contains the right value. Now in the case of DBC, it's going to be the same. But then for ID, we're going to want to take this page ID here. So there you go. And then just close that off with a semicolon. So we've accomplished the same thing that we had before we started this video. And you might think, well, why did we go through that trouble of making that function when we already had it? Um, but the neat thing about functions is that we can use them whenever we want. So in any instance throughout this project where we need to grab all the data from the pages table for one page, we can do that. So if we wanted to run this again, for instance, create this here and we'll run that data again. Send it the uh, DBC, but then maybe hard code in a page. So this is actually going to go and grab the uh, page with the ID number two, which is uh, going to be our about us page. So then we have all that data inside of this array here now. So if we wanted to, we could, you know, echo we could echo the page title of the about us page. Now, we don't need this right away. Um and I don't know if we will, but it's it's kind of a uh but it's just kind of forward thinking that you really need when you're developing web pages. And you're, we're going to be using this kind of method here quite a bit. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. And this. Now let's go ahead and just, you know, test this out and make sure that we didn't make any mistakes. There you go. Everything works just as good.